In this video, I want to show you how to configure Visio so that your custom templates will show up in Visio's template gallery or the new screen in the backstage area. So let's go back into Visio and I've got a drawing open that let's just call it my standard letterhead. I want my company logo in the top left corner and I want to be able to quickly create new drawings based on this template. So the first thing you need to do is save, save the drawing as a template as you can see up here, this is the VisioGuy drawing.vst. We want it to actually be a VST so that when we open it, we get an unsaved copy of it that we can use for new documents. A convenient location is to put your templates inside of the My Shapes folder. And an easy way to get there is to click on More Shapes, go to My Shapes, and then open up Organize My Shapes. So here we have our stencils that are easily accessed with, from within Visio. I'm going to add a folder called My Templates. And I'll go down into that. And I'll make a new folder we'll call it Visio Guy Documents, something like that. OK, hit and turn and go further down. And let's just copy this path. Use Control C to copy that, and we'll go back to Visio. So let's save this drawing off as a template file, save as, and I'll paste that path in the front, and then I'll actually change the drawing type to a template right there. Let's just double check. That looks good. Okay, so let's save it. Let's go back into yep, our my templates path, and it's been saved there. And that's good, but Visio still doesn't know about our template location because my template is just something I've concocted for this demo. Visio doesn't really know what to do with it the way it does with uh, stencils such as these. You see this template doesn't show up just because I put templates under my shapes. Visio only looks for stencils, so we still have a little bit of work to do. So if you go to the backstage area, click on File, go to Options, you get the Advanced screen right here. I'll click on that. And you can see there's a scroll bar over here that you need to pull all the way down to the bottom until you see File Locations. Click on this, and you'll see there's a several fields that allow you to put custom locations for various things, and one of those is Templates. Now I can paste that path I've copied before into this location and that'll tell Visio to look in, let's see, let's actually take off Visio Guy documents to look in my templates to see if I've got any templates stored there and to show those in the backstage screen, the new screen. If you've got more than one location, you can actually separate the path to those locations using semicolons, but we'll just do the one for now. So we'll hit OK and hit OK. And we actually have to restart Visio to get this to work. So let's close this down, start Visio up again. And you can see now under template categories, I have Visio Guide Documents. Click on that, and there's my Visio Guide drawing. So there he goes. He's opened up. Now, let's go back to that screen for a second. And you'll see that, OK, that's nice. I've got this little icon in the top left corner, but if I had several different letterheads, it's kind of hard to see what's going on there. So let's look at how we can change the preview so that it's a little bit clearer. So I'm going to close this sheet, this uh, document, and I'm going to open it up again. Luckily, I've still got the path saved in the clipboard, so let's type that in. And since this is a template, if I just double click on it, I'm going to get an unsaved copy. So select it it's single clicking it and make sure you go down to the open box and say open as original otherwise you won't be working with the original you'll be working with an unsaved copy that's a problem with templates actually if you've got the developer toolbar on which you should for chapter 11 anyway you can come to the developer toolbar and show something called the drawing explorer and the drawing explorer has all sorts of things I won't get into right now but one of them is the document itself is the top of this tree. You can right click on it and say protect document and we can lock down the preview 
for the document so that it doesn't change. Now the preview picture is what you see when you save a document. Let's see if we were to go back over to our, our folder here and say show uh, medium icons. The preview is something like this little image that's saved with the document. And you can see right now the preview just shows exactly what we have in the drawing, this little icon in the top left corner. How can we make that a little bit more useful? Well, I'm going to copy this shape because I'm going to adjust it and I want to put it back. So I'm going to make it bigger so it fills up the full page. Then I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to right click on this, this doc, Drawing Explorer document item and say Protect Document and lock down the preview. And I'm going to save it again. Now no matter what I do to this drawing, this is going to be the preview for the document. Let's go back to that folder. You can see that the icon is quite a bit bigger now. So back in Visio, I'm going to delete this big guy, paste back the original, save the document again, and close this down. So now let's go to our new screen, drill down, and you can see now the Visio guy icon is quite a bit bigger than it was before because we locked the preview but when we double click we still get our standard letterhead with the small icon in the top left corner. So that's some pretty esoteric developer tricks there. You don't need to have the Drawing Explorer window open all the time, but it's useful to get into that lock preview feature.